Hi there everybody, my name's Captain Zero and welcome to Albedo, Eyes from Outer Space. This is an awesome little Steam game, uh, it's out on early access now, it's just released. I've had my eye on it for a very long time and I've been really looking forward to getting my hands on it. Now I've played through the game quite a bit but I wanted to show you guys a couple of the beginning rooms and explain a little bit about the game while I can. Uh, just because this game is a very time consuming game, it's, it's a puzzle based game really. Um, it's it's absolutely fantastic. It looks beautiful. Let's go ahead and jump on in here and I'll show you guys a little bit about it. Go ahead and voice over. There's no voices in there. They're silent protagonist. Good night, John. Uh, Jeffrey's in the basement repairing boilers. Okay. Oh, I think I drank too much. Alrighty. So, that's the introduction they give you. You're playing as a character named uh, John Longy. He's the night watchman at this research facility called Jupiter. Um, it's run by a shady organization of scientists, and they're researching space and time. And lo and behold, now you've got some aliens on your hands, or at least some eyeballs from outer space. Uh, this game, I mean, just look at it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I've got it playing on the highest settings right now, and it does take up a considerable amount of your uh, computer's resources to play when you're playing on the highest, at least right now, and that's kind of how it is with most early access games. So, let's go on out. Oh, my ankle. So, as you can see, a lot of the items in the room are interactable. I can pick up just about everything. I can throw it. Oh, well, maybe I can't throw this. It's too big. But I can pick up most things and throw them across the room. Alright, let's go ahead and get our little tool out here. Now the mouse wheel scrolls through your actions, um, up and down, just scrolls right through. Go ahead and pick up our strange tool. Now this, this is an awesome tool, it's helpful later on in the game. Um, basically what it does when you look at something, you can see a shadow of what it should be to complete your uh, your various actions throughout the rooms uh, to finish up the puzzles. Um, so you can see that you've got this here, but it looks like it falls down at some point. So put that away. Right mouse click to put stuff away. Alright. So it does have kind of a cool setup for the, uh, the inventory. You hold down the right mouse button, drag it down, pull it out. And let's see. Go ahead and push this. Now you can just observe things, see what it's about. It tells you a little bit. Push the button. Oh, it's offline. Let's go ahead and just check the door and see if that works. The door's locked from the other side, and it's the only way out. So, first puzzle getting out of the room. Seems pretty simple, right? Alright. So, let's go ahead and just take a look around. Uh, try the door. Times. Pick this up, take a look at it. It's expired. Go ahead and try and drink it. Nope, doesn't work. So, I'm just gonna throw that, because I can. Alright. Got some crates, TVs, bin bags, garbage bags for us Americans. Empty jerry can. Now this whole game was made by a very small, small company. Um, last time I heard anything about it, they were just a one-man shop, which is pretty awesome considering how this turned out and how great it looks. Let me pick this up. The end of the rule. So I'm gonna drop it over here. Turn it again. Turn the lights off. Uh oh. It's a bad noise in here. And now there's a monster outside. So, not only do we have to get out of the room, but we gotta try and take care of the monster. So, if I click on this, the vending machine is shaky. 
I turn the lights off. I'm gonna turn them on. You don't really need them off for this. It would be cool if they made it a little bit harder. And made it so you had to have it dark in here. Now, the first time I played through this, I just kind of rummaged through for a good 10-15 minutes before I finally came upon this a rat trap. Pick this up. Actually, I gotta drop this and move all this junk. And toss it do. Drop. And drop. And this. And you. And you. Let's get them all out of my way. Now I'm kind of gonna run through these things. It always it took me a long time to figure out each and every one of these different uh, puzzles. I'm gonna do this the quick way. Now when you hit tab or the center scroll wheel, it'll show you all the interactable objects in the room, things you should pay attention to. You can pick up a rat. He doesn't really like that, so he bites you. But what I'm gonna do is take the chocolate, go to the use with, and combine that this, go ahead and pick that up, set that right in front of the vending machine, and our little mouse buddy will come over there and check that out in a minute, I'm just going to pick this up, use with this, so the rat gets caught in the trap, and now, there's our first monster, I absolutely love these things, they look phenomenal. Everything in this game is based on like old school science fiction, uh, horror movies, uh, comic books. I mean, it's it makes me think a whole lot about back in the day when I used to read comics with my dad or watch those movies in the middle of the night. I'm going to take this because I know I'm going to need it later. I can figure out how to get it off. Why won't you just work for me? Right, right, left, 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 there. Okay, now I got this. Go ahead and put this into my inventory. Let's go on to the next room. I want to show you guys how cool this fire looks. Okay. Now that's, I mean, this game, it's just, it's beautiful through and through, and the way they do the art in the game just makes it so much better. Now, if I use a time dilation tool, pull that thing out. You can see that that hose gets hooked up onto there, and that gets used there. This is an awesome little tool for when you get stuck. I kind of forgot about it for a while, but we'll have to pull over. I want you to work. There we go. Pull the valve out. Use this with that. That's on there. Okay. Use my hose. Use this with this. Now the whole game is really just you're putting items together to try and get yourself out of whatever situation you're in. Uh, be it, you know, you're stuck on fire, you've got to get a key, you're trying to do a whole bunch of different things, and pick that out. Punch this guy in the face a little bit. Pretty. I love how the blood in this game is this neon color. I think that's absolutely awesome. I'm going to pull his eyeball off and throw that across the room. Now, as far as visuals on this game, i got to give it a 10. There is a major frustration factor though because a lot of the time you're hitting tab and you're like, oh man, I gotta repair the door, what do I do? And things don't always show up right away. You gotta kinda look close. Now, when you look at this over here, oh, something chewed the wires. I've gotta find a way to bridge the gap there. So I'm gonna go use my bucket. Fill this up. As far as the frustration factor, I got really frustrated the first time playing it through, and I actually had to check another YouTuber just to see where that mouse trap was. But after that, once you start to play for a little while, you definitely get the hang of things, and it makes it a whole lot easier. 
So if you guys play this game, give it a chance. It's worth it. Definitely gonna take up a little bit of your time though. Get this quick, right? Pick it up, come on. As far as the controls in this game, they're pretty straightforward. WASD, you've got your uh, scroll wheel that does a whole lot of the work for you. I think this game is awesome. I mean, just look at that. It's gorgeous and it's 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 actually a ton of fun to play. It's uh, you got to check every corner, every crevice, try and figure out exactly how you're going to go about doing things. There's so many little hidden areas, hidden things, and if you're familiar with the developer at all, there's a whole lot of uh, little callbacks to his old games, and I I think that's awesome. I haven't played too much by this developer. He's only got two or three other games out. Um, I know Longy is one that I really want to check out. I had to look into it at first just to see, you know, where the developer came from, what he made. And that's how I figured out that the original game that he made is the main character's last name. And those little things are always awesome to find. Um, but I definitely recommend this game. If you guys are going to play it, give it a chance. It takes a little while. Um, it's out on Steam. I know the normal price for it is like $14.99. They've got it on sale for their uh, their first week. I know I had to pick it up. I think this game is not getting nearly as much attention as it really deserves, and that's why I decided I had to make some kind of review on it. Um, I, I give this game two thumbs up as long as you're willing to put a little time into it and you're not... I don't know how to put this. Uh, basically, if you're good at puzzles, and if you're not one of those kind of people who just want to rush through everything and just shoot things, this is an awesome game for you. Um, if you're a, just a first person fast action shooter, maybe you should stay away. But for the most part, this game is just awesome and I love it. And like I said, I've really been looking forward to it for a long time. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the Steam page for it. Uh, if you guys like this game, it looks like something you might want to play. Leave me a uh, comment down below, and uh, if you have played the game already, let me know what your experience has been with it. If you've had frustrating moments, if you've gotten stuck at places, um, and how you kept yourself going playing through it. Because I know I just, I because I've been so excited for this game, I just had to keep pushing myself to get through a few of these really difficult puzzles. But uh, aside from that, guys, if this uh, if you like this video, leave me a like. Uh, if it's your first time checking me out, feel free to check around my channel a little bit, see what other kind of games I play. I have awesome games all the time on there, try and upload just about every single day. And uh, aside from that guys, as always I will see you in the next video and remember, have an awesome day. Bye now.